I ask you a question? Are you an important enough mission for yourself? What do I mean? Just consider the question first. Are you an important enough mission for yourself? Hey, I'm Rosemary Lonnie Knight. I am the Prosperity Minister and I support you in regaining your confidence, your self-confidence. I support you in leaving behind the pain and the limiting beliefs of the past so that you can rise victorious in your true design life living a life that feels good to you. So coming back to the question, are you an important enough mission for yourself? I believe you are worthy of your own affection and your own attention, but I also see that so many people will sacrifice their time, their money for every single other person in their world, but not actually themselves. Most people want to make a heck of a lot of a difference in the world. They want to change lives, everyone else's life except their own. And they don't, they don't even actually, and you probably, I'm talking about they, but really you, you probably don't even really think of yourself in the same category. Everybody else needs your attention. Everybody else needs you to change things for them. You're busy putting yourself down, trying not to think of yourself, to consider yourself too much because that would be selfish and greedy. You make yourself the last priority in your life. You, are, you don't consider yourself to be that important a mission. The uncovering of you, the real you, the knowing you. When last did you really figure out what, what do I find fun to do? What do I want out of life? What would I like to do next without considering what everybody else wants from you, what everybody else wants you to do? You know, you've probably, because I did, I followed a path of becoming a pharmacist going down a certain path. Even when I started in business, I went down the property real estate route because that's what everybody says. What will make you money? That's that success when you do those things. But it wasn't my thing. It wasn't what I wanted. But I didn't consider myself an important enough mission. I would give my life for my friends. I would give my life for the girls I wanted to help at church. I would give my money for all the young people, all the people I felt that were suffering and this and that and the other, I would do whatever to save them. But I never thought about me, my brothers, my sister, my mother. I would do whatever I could. And all the while that I was trying to prove myself to them, I wasn't paying any attention to me. And I know I talk about this stuff a lot because I hope to come at it from different directions so that you finally start to realize that you are the most important mission that you are on this on this planet to uncover. You are the most important mission that you are on this planet to uncover. You're so busy uncovering everybody else's mission. You're so busy trying to help everybody else, feeling frustrated that you can't do enough because there's something inside of you that is saying, listen to me. Can you hear me crying out for your attention? But you think it's the world crying out for your attention. And so you're always trying to help this person, that person, tiring yourself out completely, but you've forgotten you. Again, are you an important enough mission to commit your life to uncovering? Are you, are you willing to go to the depth of who you are and figure yourself out, become all you can be? Honey, this is your life. You came here to really be creator, powerful creator. But you're so busy trying to create everybody else's life that you've forgotten your own. Are you an important enough mission? You deserve your attention, and your affection, but instead you just put yourself down a lot of the time. You judge yourself as unworthy. You judge yourself as always needing to be fixed. Oh honey, wake up. You are the most important mission. You need to rediscover you all the impact you want to have on the world, honey. You're not going to make any of that impact without first and foremost impacting you, without first and foremost getting to know you and what it is that you are here to do and starting to do that stuff, finding the courage to really step into who you are. You need to rebuild your self-confidence, honey, if you're going to do that. And what I'm saying to you is resonating, isn't it? Now pay attention. This is your life. Come, let's do life together. Let me help you return to you. Return to who you are so that you can have the impact you want to have on the planet, so that you can enjoy the prosperity in all areas of your life that you want to enjoy, not just for you, but for the people you impact, for, the fam for your family, for your community. 
But it starts with you. It starts inside of you. Come and make the decision to immerse yourself in a different way of seeing things, a different way of thinking about things. You deserve the very best of everything. Will you allow yourself to create it? Come on in. Okay? The link will be around this video. Much amazing love.